You can now easily get your entire Zoom meeting transcribed into text, free and automatic, right inside Zoom. That includes audio to text of all meeting participants. You don't need a special login or account, and it is available immediately after the meeting where you can save and share the transcript. You can even search the transcribed text after the meeting and play the audio from that point of the meeting. Now let's show you how. To get free audio transcription in Zoom, we're gonna be taking advantage of the brand new Zoom apps feature, specifically the Rev.com app. And if you don't know what Zoom apps is, take a look at this video right here where I outline what is Zoom apps, how to enable it, and why to use it plus a quick example of using it. It's really easy. So in the apps tab, click discover, scroll down to Rev and click that. For those that don't know, Rev.com is the leading online service provider for converting audio and video to text to produce transcriptions, captions and translations. So it's very trustworthy. And you don't even need an account with Rev for this particular feature to work. It's completely free and easy to use. So I'll click add, browse the permissions, before authorizing and boom, that's now installed. Back in Zoom, that app will now be open. There is an important settings cog here, which opens a window. I recommend you ensure that auto join is disabled. The main reason for this is that once you have the app installed, it will always automatically start recording and transcribing, which you may not want all the time. I'll come to the second reason shortly, but for now I'll start a new meeting. So to start the automatic audio transcription in Zoom, I'll click the apps button here, then click open on Rev. Here the transcriber widget tries to join the meeting, but wait, it can't seem to join. That's because at the moment, if you have a waiting room enabled, this widget won't work. And your Zoom meeting is probably set to have waiting rooms enabled by default. You will need to disable the waiting room before you activate the transcriber widget. This is a second reason why I recommend you disable auto join on the transcriber widget because it will just be faced with the waiting room and you won't be able to activate it now unless you restart the meeting. So I've started a new meeting here. Everyone I want has joined the meeting. I ask everyone if they are happy for this meeting to be transcribed. Yes. Then comes the critical step. I come down to security and disable enable waiting room. Now I can open the Rev app once again and it will join the meeting. Everyone will be able to see this thumbnail here and that the Rev meeting assistant is recording and transcribing away. Let's check that it's working though. Ah, it's not working, as first I need to give permissions for recording. This window will pop up giving instructions on how to do this. So when you click here, it will take you to this web page. It's basically asking you to make sure you have local recording enabled across all your account settings. You probably already have this done, but I'll show you where exactly you need to do that. I wanna let you guys know that I've also been creating short form content here on this channel. So on my YouTube shorts shelf, you'll find a bunch of 15-ish second videos where I give quick tips improving your video skills. So I'd love it if you stop by to take a look. So go to your web portal and under admin, click account management, then account settings. Click the recording tab, then you wanna make sure this is enabled. Then under personal, click settings, and again, recording, and enable local recording. The next step is to give the Rev meeting assistant permission to record local files. So back inside your meeting, click participants, come up and click more here, then allow to record local files. You may need to do this every time you bring the Rev meeting assistant into a new meeting, but it should be automatic from here. Okay, now the Rev meeting assistant will be automatically recording and transcribing live, as you can see over on the right hand side here. And I'll show you how it works with this request. If you're getting some value out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you quickly hit the like button now to help me with the YouTube algorithm, or better yet, subscribe now and hit the notification bell to be alerted for great new tips and tricks like this as I release them. It really helps me to grow my channel and inspires me to put out more great content for you. Right, just so you know, if you want your meeting participants to see the transcribed text live, you can just hit the share button here, as you can see. Okay, let's end the meeting there and see what options we have with the recorded transcript. Click the apps button from the home screen, then open Rev. Here is the meeting we just recorded. Straight away, we can see the text down the bottom and who was speaking, just me today. You can see at first glance that it has done a great job of converting the audio to text, although it may not be perfect because the transcription was automatically done by machine. It also depends heavily on how clearly someone is speaking. A great thing with this feature is you can search for a word or phrase from the meeting or just click to highlight a word. Then in the play bar at the top, it will skip to where that word was spoken in the meeting and you can actually play the corresponding audio from there. 
or better yet, subscribe now and hit the notification bell to be alerted for great new tips and tricks like this. What a great feature this is, eh? From here, you can then easily share the transcript via a link, copy the transcript and paste it into a document, or delete the meeting and transcription altogether. Watch this video next to find out more about the new Zoom Apps feature. I outline what it is, how to enable it, how and why to use it, plus a quick example of using an app from the Zoom App Marketplace. Now I can open the Rev up. You may need to do this every meet. Now the Rev Meeting Assistant will be automatically recording.